हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी सो मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर प्रॉब्लम्स सो यू नो दैट मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी you can say that it was came in 2006 16 okay that is on the recommendation of which committee that is urjit patel committee urjit patel committee now this committee is a six member body and it has been mentioned under you can say rbi act so we can say it is a statutory body so it is a statutory body so this is what you have to remember clear so it is a statutory body number 1 number 2 when you talk about it's a six member body what does it mean so basically out of six member three members are from rbi so these members are basically rbi governor rbi governor who is the chairperson chairperson of monetary policy committee number 2 deputy governor you can say in charge of monetary policy department in charge of monetary policy department and number 3 if i say you can say rbi official appointed by rbi board so this is what you have to remember so these are the three member from rbi side now rest three member are from the side of government so you can say these three members are selected by are selected by search cum selection committee search cum selection committee so this is what you have to remember that search cum selection committee is responsible for selecting these three members number 1 number 2 the three members which are selected by search cum selection uh, committee must have must have knowledge in the field of banking finance and economics okay so these three members must have knowledge in the field of banking finance and economics now this topic is important because if you see the previous year question already they have asked a question from this monetary policy committee so there may be chances that or you have seen that whatever topics have already been asked so upsc used to used to ask a question from that clear clear or you can say they used to ask a question from that particular area now when we talk about monetary policy in monetary policy committee what other things are there if i talk about so in monetary policy committee if you see 
these three members those who are selected by the search search come selection committee and having a knowledge in the field of banking finance and economics so these members must you can say must not be member of parliament comma member of legislative assembly and public servant so whatever search come selection committee they select anyone so they should not be they should not be mp mla and public servant so apart from that they can be anyone so it means if any person from private sector having a having a knowledge in the field of banking finance and economics can become a part of mpc okay but that should be selected by search come selection committee so it is mandated now here what another important thing that you have to remember that once search come selection committee appoint a person or hire any person or select any person so that person must get or you can say must be there for 4 years so means the tenure of the person is 4 years and if you see and if you see that and if you see that ki that person who is selected for 4 years is not eligible for reappointment now this is important point now remember i am talking about i am talking about you can say when i am talking about four years this is only for the person or you can say three members who are selected by search come selection committee but when it comes to rbi side so the three members from the rbi for them the tenure is not four years for them the tenure is till the time they hold the po post in the rbi so it means if rbi governor is there for 7 years so it means he will or he or she will remain the chairperson of monetary policy committee and if it is for 2 years then accordingly so ultimately for rbi or you can say for these person there is no tenure so their tenure is in link with the post they are holding so if any deputy governor remains the deputy governor of this department that is monetary policy department so that deputy governor will be a part of monetary policy committee but for these three but for these three they have to be they have to be a part of you can say or you can say they will be there for only four years and not eligible for reappointment clear so this is what you have to remember now here i have used the word chairperson because now you have to be general neutral so although a word chairman can also be used but we have to be general neutral so government has come out with so many laws okay government has come out with so many laws so this is what you have to understood clear so we have to be general neutral so this is what you have to remember okay now moving further now it is very important to know that who are part of search come selection committee now this is also important now this information you will not find in any book okay i am sure about it now when i am saying it is not find in any book so what does it mean so you have to remember here only so in search come selection committee also there are six members number one is cabinet secretary so you can say dream post of every is officer so if you get selected at young age if you get selected at young age you will reach to this post cabinet secretary okay so you can say is officer and this cabinet secretary is the chairperson of search com selection committee number 2 
आरबीआई गवर्नर नंबर थ्री विल टॉक अबाउट दट हेयर इज यू कैन से सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स सो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सो वेन आई एम सेइंग सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज दिस इकोनॉमिक अफेयर डिपार्टमेंट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इकोनॉमिक सर्वे दैट इज पब्लिकेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे एंड कंपाइलेशन ऑफ बजट तो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर बट हु एवर इज द सेक्रेटरी अगेन आई एस ऑफिसर विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड द रेस्ट थ्री मेंबर्स रेस्ट थ्री मेंबर्स वी कैन से दैट दीज थ्री मेंबर्स आर ओके आर दोज पर्सन ओके नॉट पार्ट आर दोज पर्सन हैविंग स्पेशल नॉलेज इन द फील्ड ऑफ banking finance and economics clear banking finance and economics so this three person are these person so this is what you have to remember clear so ultimately this question can be asked so we have covered the structure part so structure so definitely on structure of mpc they have already asked the question so this mpc was created again i tell you that it was created in 2016 on the recommendation of urjit patel committee so this is what you have to remember clear now moving further moving further so we'll see the function also what is the function of mpc now the function of mpc is basically to decide the policy rate the policy rate when i am saying we are talking about repo rate and reverse repo rate so this is what they have to decide clear now to take decision on this so it is mandatory so as per rbi act it is mandatory that they must meet at least four times in a year so when i am saying four times in a here it means in a financial year so they have to meet at least four times so the word at least is there so minimum four times maximum it can be anything so like if you see in financial year 2022 they have met more than four times okay more than four times now why they are deciding the repo rate or policy rate because they have been given a task to maintain inflation within a target which we called inflation targeting or inflation target clear so they have been given a task to maintain inflation within the target clear so this is what you must know okay next third if you see third what is the thing that whatever votes they will take or whatever decision they will take that is with simple majority that is with simple majority clear so when it comes to simple majority it means whatever decision has they have to be taken with respect to repo rate that will be taken with simple majority means for example if there is a decision to make repo rate for example 5% okay so if four members agree with that four or more okay so ultimately that decision will be final but if suppose there is a tie okay or you can say if there is a tie tie means that is 3 3 members so in that case the chairperson of chairperson of mpc chairperson of mpc 
has been given a second casting vote. So, chairperson of MPC has been given a second casting vote. It means, so in that case, in the case of tie, that is 3 3, RBI governor, who is the chairperson of MPC, that will be give or that will give two that will give two votes, but only in that scenario. Clear? Only in that scenario. Now, whenever they have a meeting, so that meeting will be hosted by RBI. That will be hosted by RBI. Okay. Now, ultimately, here I want to make you clear another thing. That whenever it comes to formulation of monetary policy, whenever it comes to formulation of monetary policy, there are three people RBI, Monetary Policy Committee, and Government of India. Now, remember the task of Monetary Policy Committee is to decide. Repo rate. So, this is the task has been given to Monetary Policy Committee. Clear? So, already we have seen that what is the structure and what is the function of Monetary Policy Committee. Monetary Policy Committee. So, already we have seen structure and function. Now, RBI has been given a task to implement the repo rate. So, RBI has been given a task to implement the repo rate. So, this is again you have to remember. And when it comes to government of India, so what task they have been given? So, you know that inflation target has been decided. So, you know that right now our inflation target is 4 plus minus 2 percent. So, that target is decided by government of India. So, ultimately keeping that target, MPC decides the repo rate which is implemented by RBI. So, you can say in monetary policy, there are three stakeholders or how your monetary policy is working. That is important. Clear? So, ultimately inflation target 4 plus minus 2 percent. Now, this inflation target is linked to Headline CPI, so CPI is Consumer Price Index. So it is linked to headline CPI, that is Consumer Price Index. And this inflation target is decided once in a five year by the government of India in consultation with RBI. So this inflation target is decided by government of India, that is once in Five year. So, decided by once in a five year that is in consultation with RBI. But whatever they consult with the RBI, that is not binding. So, this also you have to remember. So, it is not binding on the government of India. Clear? So, this is what you have to remember. Clear? So, it is decided by government of India and that is not binding on government of India. Okay? So, this is what you have to remember. So, ultimately this concept of inflation target is also introduced in 2016 along with MPC. So, in 2016, we decided inflation target that is 4 plus minus 2 percent and which is continued till 20, uh, 2021, that is 31st March 2021. Now, from 1st April 2021, we have a new target and the new target is also same. So, we can say till date. We have decided inflation target twice. So, as I told you, once in five years. So, first time we decided in 2016, which started, which we started implementing from 1st April 2016 till 31st March 2021. So, that time or in this time, 
our inflation target is 4 plus minus 2 percent. So, this is our inflation target. Clear? So, this is our inflation target. Whereas, in January 2021, again, government of India decided inflation target because 5 years get completed and as I, and as I told you that it has to be decided every 5 year. Okay, or once in a 5 year. So, for the time period that is 1st April 2021 to 31st March 2026, again our inflation target is kept at 4 plus minus 2 percent. So, it means government itself is looking for inflation, but that inflation must not exceed this limit. So, every year we are looking for inflation at this rate that is 4 plus minus 2 percent. So, ideally we are looking for 4, but they have given a range that is 2 to 6 percent and this is linked to inflation target. So, we can say that for the next time, so if you are appearing for 24, 25, okay, or if you are appearing for 26, then by that time or even after 26, then by that bad time again your inflation target will change, okay. That is if you are appearing for 26 or after that, okay. So, ultimately next time the new inflation target will be decided in the month of January, Feb 2026, January and Feb 2026 and that will be decided for 1st April 2026 to 31st March 2031. Okay, and what will be that? We have to wait and watch. We have to wait and watch, even I cannot tell you. Clear? So, this is about you can say inflation target. Now, if you have understood this thing, so you can see that three, uh, two types of question can be framed. So, so I am telling you with respect to mains only. One question that can be framed is, discuss the formulation of monetary policy or you can say how monetary policy is formulated. How monetary policy is formulated. So, when you have to talk about how monetary policy is formulated, you have to talk about all the three stakeholders. Second question that can be asked, discuss the role of monetary policy committee. So, there you will not talk about RBI and government of India. Okay, then you have to stick to structure and function of monetary policy. Clear? So, these are the things. So, ultimately you have to see that in exam, they are asking about monetary policy as a whole or monetary policy committee. So, if you understood this thing, then only you can answer it correctly. So, I hope now you get the idea that what nature of question can be framed. So, this is with respect to monetary policy. So, I will again come with a more interesting lectures. So, we will meet soon. Till then, Jai Hind and have a nice day.